you were an assistant coach with Russ Hellickson before Tom Lyon took over. How hard was that transition to have Russ um, take a, a different role and, and have to, you know, resign from the position and then Tom Ryan came in? Was that a tough transition for you? Yeah, it was. I mean, I'm, you know, uh, Tom Ryan's a great coach. And, you know, it's always good to have the youthful um, uh, energy that Tom Bryan, Tom brought in. Um, so no doubt um, it was a good, it was, you know, it was time for us to move on. But at the same time, you know, you're watching the kit like Lance Palmer's coming in and I, I recruited him very hard um, because he, you know, had been going to all my camps when he, when he was younger, all my rest, uh, take top camps. And so, you know, you watch them work out at the wrestling camp that summer and it's like watching your girlfriend cheat on you. you know? so, so that was an awkward time, but, um, you know, now st stepping away from it, it, in retrospect, it was the right move. And um, I mean, at, at, at the time, it didn't seem it because uh, we did have a lot of guys redshirting, you know, and Bergman and Humphreys and, and Jaggers was got injured that year but um so we had we had some guns you know and lands coming in so we had some our guns loaded but um you know tom brought it and tom's brought this program to a perennial you know top two program in the country which is awesome do you feel still feel like you're a buckeye um you know it's funny so all the you know the Ohio State guys the under threat I'm on with like Tommy Rollins and my brother and Blake Kaplan and those guys and my old uh, roommates and teammates. And, uh, you know, I'm a Cornell <laughs> wrestling fan. And they're like, what do you mean? You're a Buckeye. I'm like, okay, who's your favorite football team? They're like, uh, Denver Broncos. Okay, who's your second fo favorite football team? And they're like, ah, I don't have one. <laughs> and I guess that kind of, you know, it's like you don't really have a second best team. So I, I enjoy watching the Buckeyes. I cheer them on, but I don't have the emotional attachment that I do. Ohio State football, I have <laughs> extreme allegiance to. Um, and, 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 again, that's not to say that um, I root against them. I cheer I, – I do cheer them on and hope that they beat Penn State every, every year. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think when Cornell gets all their guys out of Olympic red shirt, I'm going to have to start cheering hard against them a little bit. <laughs> so it's because of your – proximity and being part of the Cornell program at your fan? Yeah, well, I mean, I live in Ithaca. I've lived here 14 years, and um, I pop in and out of the room when it's, when you know, when it's off season. I'm, there's no official practice or what have you. Um, so, I, so I still roll around with some of the guys, um, uh, the latest being Fernandez, um, uh, Louis Fernandez, who I think is going to be an excellent heavyweight for us. Um, and so we have – um yeah I just it, it, when you get to know these guys again Gabe Dean lived with me um almost two years I think some uh maybe a year and a half two years um and in doing so we had a lot of guys over at the house and we just became I mean these are these are people that we love you know and that uh, they're around our kids they're great role models my kids look up to Yanni and and Cal Dake and those guys and so there's a brotherhood that I'm a part of um and it's just you, you know I mean you forget how much even even when you're not in the room every day you forget how much you know just being um around these guys and how much you know because that's what how I want my kids growing up that's the way I grew up when I was younger was my my father's wrestlers those guys were my idols and it's been good for my family and it's just been an awesome experience